What's up y'all, Rob here, Square Wheels, back in the garage again. Today's gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm actually installing my new wheels and I'm installing my BC uh, coilovers on my previous wheels. I needed to have some 25 millimeter spacers just to have them sitting uh, within the wheel well exactly how I wanted them. Um, but now I no longer need spacers. Um, so what I need to do is remove those pesky um, extended wheel bolts. Um, it was a absolute nightmare putting them on because I didn't have the right tool, but now I do. So check this out. So here's the sauce right here. What this is, is a um, wheel stud installer, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. So this is an example of an OEM length stud. And this is an extended stud. So you can see that additional 25 millimeters. That's the additional 25 millimeters that I needed uh, to have my 25 millimeter, or yeah, 25 millimeter spacers on. So I need to take these out and put these back in. Come on, focus, these back in. So what I'm gonna do is just take this wheel off. I'm also gonna need to take the rotor and caliper off. Okay, so here's how the wheel hub looks. What I do is spray a little penetrant spray on here, and usually it's pretty easy to hammer these out of their socket. That's the easy part, and there's usually a little hole where they expect you to release these. It looks like over here, you've got enough space to uh, get these bad boys out of there. So I got this one out right here, and all I do is replace the new one. In the same way, just use the available backspace that you have to pull it through the front. So here's the magic. Now without this tool, what you would do is like stack spacers and try to use your lug nut to pull this bolt through the hub. But you don't have to do that anymore with this tool. With this tool, all you need to do is just place it over the bolt, get your lug nut, plug it in, and just send this home. This thing make sure that it's gonna go on straight it won't go in crooked because it goes flat against your hub here once it's all the way tight you'll see it flush on the back loosen this and your new studs in that's it so just repeat the process five times and you'll have a full new set of uh, wheel studs and just like that we've got our original length wheel studs we are ready to put on our new properly sized wheels, but that's for another episode. Thanks, like, and subscribe.